Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start this episode off by giving a shout out to Elthwar, who says, Pretty sure Sindri would not be willing to pay much for relics taken from dead bodies. I doubt he'd touch them willingly. And uh, our Nick93 adds, If he doesn't know, then, well, poor guy! And, you know, on the uh, same subject, shout out to Torek00, who says, I like that Sindri's holding a handkerchief in his portrait, just in case he has to touch something so disgusting he can feel it through his gloves. Like grave dirt. Or worse, bacon fat. <laughs> Let's get this chest. I note that those masks seem to already have a crack in the middle for the knife to go into, like it's a key. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the Fire Realm? I really want to visit the Fire Realm, you guys! Muspelheim cipher complete! You can now read the language of Muspelheim. You can now access Muspelheim from the Realm Travel Room. I don't know how that works, but sure! I hope it's not like, you know, the Dungeons and Dragons Plane of Fire. Because, uh, you need special precautions to go there, or because it's so fucking hot that, like, a human who went there without precautions would find, uh, his hair immediately bursting into flames from the ambient temperature alone. What the hell is that? I want up there. Oh, damn, that was just the butte. Butte? Boat. I have one syllable and I said it wrong. To adventure! I really wish I could throw the fucking axe from the boat. Let's send this guy to his grave. I don't know. Got any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There was once a scorpion who wished to travel Ooh, to the other side of a river. Why? If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. Okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He told the frog that if he gave him a ride across the river on his back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed. But halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded, and they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what Mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. He didn't even flinch at stories. Oh, I drained them already. My apologies, Burning Dog fans. Wait, where the fuck am I? I'm over here. I didn't realize I could go under that. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, people who played the games before were rolling their eyes like uh, fucking crazy. Oh, that's the turtle! How embarrassing. How deeply embarrassing. I don't even remember why I was heading over in this direction. Yes, I first heard that. That was actually a very uh, accurate uh, rendition this time. Can we dock here? Uh, didn't we already? Isn't that chest open? Yeah, no, it doesn't say new dock required. Lookout tower. We definitely opened this, and that guy is definitely dead. Fuck. But yes, I first heard that story on Star Trek Voyager. It was the entire theme of a two-part episode that was in fact called Scorpion. Uh... Yes, that's right. First Officer Chakotay was using it as a metaphor for the Borg, since uh, they were making an alliance with the Borg out of necessity, but he was warning that it is in their nature to uh, 
well, you know, try and assimilate everybody. In fact, they used it as a as a code word. Uh, you know, when the Borg uh, suddenly but inevitably betrayed them, uh, Captain Janeway just went on the. Uh, okay, I can't remember if it was Janeway or Chicote, but someone got on the communicator and just said the word scorpion, and this. Uh, Yes, that's right. Go down here. Roy, do you remember which oh. is port and which is starboard? Oh, I think so. Port is left, and starboard is right. Right? Not your right. Where the boat faces, port is left, and starboard, starboard is... Starboard is right. Right. I knew that. I yes. did. It's, uh, it's just that it's always... The same sides. Uh, I know this. That the unsealing ships they use port and starboard, because port and starboard are always port and starboard. Whereas from Kratos's perspective, the side with the uh, the head of the paddle on it is currently right, and from uh, Atreus's perspective, that side is left. But since the boat is pointing in this direction, the side of the paddle on it is always on starboard. The way I remember it, incidentally, is by. Uh, is this where we just were? Yes, this is where it is. Where. Fuck! I, was, I took a wrong turn somewhere in the ice. I'm confused. How the hell did I get there? Okay, fuck it. We'll use the Mystic Gateway in there to go straight to the place. <laughs> Sony tells me there will be a boat waiting for us. Where was he looking? Over... nowhere. Okay! Oh no, it was just over there. Actually, I'm gonna do it anyway. Fuck it, I wanna see what happens when I go through the portal. Here we go, a completely unnecessary detour to amuse myself, because it's a video game, and that's what they're for. Oh, this is the thing. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we haven't boarded this one yet. Clearly. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, good find. Oh, that one. Yes, that one's more abstract than the others. Kind of looks like a helmet. Just code word. Just get on the communicator and yell Scorpion. I fin didn't finish that thought earlier because they started talking again. We're all talking over each other. Oh, Brock is here. That I means need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. That means we can't spit on his desk or read his emails. You'll find him. Do, 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 do. I am ashamed. I just assumed when it said cannot travel to this yet that there would eventually be a uh, an upgrade that let me fast travel from wherever. You know, because I was looking at the map from uh, somewhere else. Someday these stupid rocks will obey me! Jump cut. <laughs> Welcome back to Volander Chasm. I haven't said anything clever along the way, or I would have started recording already. No, I don't think that's important. It's just shiny. Everything is fucking glistening here. Except Kratos, who I don't think can sweat underneath all of that ash, but maybe that's a visual effect. You son of a bitch. So what, this would work, but not the other way around? What the fuck is wrong with that one? You know what's funny? This is new. I mean, obviously the unfolding shield is a new thing, but in the classic God of War games, he didn't even carry a shield unless it was part of the weapon set he was using. I, uh, there was like arms of Sparta, was, like a, a spear and sword combination. But uh, that was a specific sub weapon. Uh, when he had the Blades of Chaos out, he just blocked by holding both Blades of Chaos out in front of him. It did, however, have a very similar mechanic of, uh, you know, oh, you block at the last second, then uh, you drive them back and can do a counter. What is this? 
Well, that's a hack silver ore or something? Oh. Wow. The perspective there, I didn't even realize there was a rise. That's kind of embarrassing. Another uh, dock over here. Or not. Okay. Just did that one handed. You're not cool looking enough to, for this to be, uh. One of those treasures, but this could be one of the other treasures. Nope, nope, money. I don't remember what the bodies looked like, for example, that were with the, uh, the toys, but I guess those are only in the forest. Come, boy. You know, I was going over the footage from the previous videos in this session, and, uh, you started off with, uh, the shout-out that included a, a, a really bad joke. <laughs> and, uh... Huh. I remember now. It was, uh... Yeah, I, I, I wanted to mention that, uh... Somewhere on the internet, there's a video of Christopher Judge at a convention. And by request of the audience, he spends a while... Going down a list of dad jokes in his Kratos voice. It's actually really good. I watched that before I'd even played this game, and I thought it was hilarious. It was oh, Christ, interrupted myself with a surprise sneeze. Sorry, I was starting to say, you know, I don't remember the specific jokes, because it was years ago. But, uh, it would be like if, you know, he did the perfect Kratos voice, and it was, uh, Boy, what do you call a baby monkey? A chimp off the old block. <laughs> All they need is the actor who played, uh, Atreus here to be sitting next to him going, ah, after every single one. All right, all right, you can do the thing. Interesting. Long one. And Vari's invention. Through this path lies the mines of Volunder. This great endeavor was made possible by Andvari the Alchemist, son of Ivaldi. Oh, the guy who made that uh, special attack. Through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Andvari's genius they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for dwarves dawns here. No mere miners, but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. You know, it's actually kind of baller. Shout out to Darthinianable! who started the series and says, Hey there, BDF, long time. I am so glad that you are going through this one. Without a doubt, this is one of my favorite games. The first I have ever platinumed, in fact. It goes on from there. Also mentioned something I thought was interesting. I always wondered if there were any gods left in Greece. We know he killed many, including the big three, who I believe are Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. But uh, we never heard what became of Aphrodite, Demeter, Dionysus, or Artemis. And I wanted to mention that story... Because, uh, it's a... I realized at some point that despite how important he was in the actual mythology, I don't think Apollo ever so much has made an appearance in the classic games. Oh, right, chest. Nice. There were a couple appearances by, uh... Helios, god of the sun... But he's not the same person as Apollo, god of light, though they were often confused for each other. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Uh. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, just want to get one more comment in there before we uh, focus. 
Shout out to Gundy's Lackey, who uh, said, Great video, BDF. Also, yes, indeed, and I apologize if I pronounce this incorrectly, Sonny Suljic, the kid who plays At Atreus, did do the mocap for him when he was ten years old, though apparently uh, it took four to five years. Hmm. Surely that... Surely a growing kid would require more adjustments than, you know, making a skinny man into Kratos with the, uh, the mocap. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Also, oh god damn it! There was hammering when I stopped recording. I was expecting Andvari to have died some pathetic death, and uh, after that big bragging thing. But whatever. Um, why did I pause? Secondhand soul, find Brock's friend, or what's left of him. Enter the Volundir mi un Volundir Mines. I keep forgetting there's an E there. I keep you know, assuming it's deer, because there's so much of that sound. Uh, Brock just asked us to find his alchemist friend, Andvari, at the Volundir Mines. Father isn't big on helping people for no reward, but Brock did just give us the entry stone to the mines. Maybe we should look into it. Lighting the braziers in these islands attracts enemies, but also gives wayward spirits a chance to ask for our help, and gives us things we can use for our journey. The Muspelheim language disc is complete. Now I can make out these runes, even the travel rune for visiting the Realm of Fire. I wonder if Father will want to go. Hang on, why would an alchemist be doing blacksmithery? Because he's a dwarf. No? You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? We're here to do that, Brock. What the fuck are you doing here? What realm you gents shaking oh. off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf stirs up a man's memories. Go on now! I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Did you, like, seduce the prince of the Yolsilfar or something? To work it is. Oops, I did not actually... Oh, hey! New shit! Fuck. Hey! That actually improves my defense! Holy shit! Ah, yes, yes. Three. Fuck me. Strength, you say? Hell yeah! Let's go with that! It's pricey, but, you know... It is also level three. There's quality material. Metal plated shoulder you're guard. going might last a day. Sturdy offensive armor that cre increases strength. And let's be honest, Kratos probably looks better in offensive armor than defensive armor anyway. Like, I certainly believe the best uh, offense is a good defense. Kratos rips people apart with his bare hands while naked. I'm just saying. You know, that I might go with, on the other hand. Except that this looks totally baller. Hmm. Hmm! Also, that bonus is way, way higher. Same price. Odd. Very odd. Something on your mind, boy. Oh, nice. He looks good in yellow. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, my god. And the armor even looks nice. It looks like it would protect him from many attacks. But I need solid Zvartalfheim steel. What more you need? I mean, the invention of the gun would be nice, but, uh, you know, I don't want to wait around. Oh, those guys. Okay, sure. I knew I'd seen that word before. And just look at these so it doesn't have the things over them. Oh, yeah! See how that treats you. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Is that really all they're used for? Oh, 
One of my ears is ringing. I don't like that. There it goes. Hot damn. You take care now. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't need that at the moment. Um. Shit, I don't know. Symbol of truth? Oh, I guess that's. Oh, yes, because these have the blessings on them. High perk activation chance to grant a blessing of runic on any successful parry. Sure. Etched Crest of Shadows. I am flying by the seat of my pants in a major way. That's all I went there under the resources. Yes! Uh... Hate. Oh, there's the timer. God damn it. Oh, there it was. Corrupted Remnant. Uh, yes, yes, it's just for the vo versatile warrior's handle, very specifically. So I'll just so do that. What'd you find episode. out there? It was all kinds of crazy shit, actually. And this asshole who tried to pull a what a twist on us. the horns. I love that. Just good across the board. You better get too thirsty now. Boy, you were completely correct about that quest. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, right. I really need to improve to cool down. Uh, make you something? Right. Oh, we need the same steel to upgrade that and to make the other armor. Feck! That's his money. Sure. Uh, Christ alive. Oh, fuck! I forgot. I don't have one of those. Last time I died, I was just dead dead. Thank you! Now, what was the other thing? Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. <laughs> and on that note, I love that, uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. I feel like Kratos looks a bit more like himself with more of his chest exposed. Let's see if he, uh... Fights even harder than he did before with these shiny new stats. Till then, later.